couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another 978 custom video. And right now we have the... Exactly. I have no name for this guy. To be fair, I asked for help on Facebook, and a lot of people did throw out some names. A lot of them were really cool names, and some of them were, eh. But there were so many names that it's even harder to pick now. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. And by the end of this video in 24 hours, we're going to name the Spider-Man on what you guys think is the best name. But here's the list of names that the Facebook guys gave me. No name Spider-Man custom. Any ideas for a name is what I asked on Facebook. And here's what the guys came up with. Hell Spider. Pyro Spider. Spider Sunspots. Sun Spider. Chaos. Looks like a symbiote, so something like Ember, Cinder, Pyro. This guy said Chester Cheetos. Fireweb. Looks like a symbiote. Acid. Acidic or something. That's pretty cool. But this goes on and on and on. Seriously. Arachnoferno. Diablo Spidey. Ghost Spider. Blaze. Laser. Blazer. Spyromania. Super Flame Boy. Pyrox. Ghost Spider. Then this guy says... That's pretty good, but it's already taking. Sorry, Papa. Try again. Inferno Spider-Man. Scorcher. Origin story? I think yes. And this guy pulls up an article from the UK of a guy who burned his entire house down trying to burn a spider. Hot rod suit made by Tony Stank. Flame spider. Hot head. Brimstone. Flame. Ghost. Cider. Spider Inferno. Or Inferno. Fire Ant. Frider Man. Fire Ant, Fire Bug, Hellfire, The Fabulous Flamer, Magma Man, Fire Dung, Spy Diablo, The Alchemic Spider-Man, Fire Ant, Iron Fister, Spinach. This list continues on for a little bit. Bear with me, guys. Flame Spider, Inferno, Orb Weaver. Now, I like this name because it represents an actual orange spider. So I thought that was pretty cool. Inferno, Levantula, Levantula, ha, 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 ha. Broiler, Fire Spidey, Phoenix Spidey, Venom Phoenix, The Torch Spider, Hot Shot Spider Man, Fire Swarm, Spider Blaze, Spyro, Spiron Fist, Spider Rider, Hot Garbage. Spider Torch, Ghost Spider, Ghost Spider again, Spirit of Vengeance, Slinger of Vengeance, Spire, Flame, Infernal Spider Man, Hell Spawn Spider Man, Pyro Spider Man, Jeff, Supernova Spidey, Scorch, Hellfire Spawn. And then Chris kind of goes back on Billy's idea on calling him Orb Weaver. And explaining as to why it's a good name points out that it is an orange spider and it does look just like the spider I have more or less. Hell spider, spider flame, lit. I hate the word lit so much that I might call it lit. Just kidding. Firebug, Johnny Blaze, Flamethrower. I think he should get two names. Frighten Light, Fright Light, and Fright Night. And then he has this origin story, which I think is pretty cool. If I ever come up with five Spider-Man, I'm gonna ask this guy to come up with some origins. Flicker, Arachnid, or Spider Rider, Vengeful Arachnid, actually. Rage Spider-Man, Spider-Man Rage. So many names to choose from. I need you guys to help me out and pick the name that you think fits the custom the most or come up with a new name yourself. And whoever has the most likes on their comment wins the name. And if you, get the, and if you win the name picking, I'm going to send you something. So let's all hopefully... Get a cool name on this guy. The theme is like a fiery thermal theme. I did want that hot rod look on him. So hot rod was my first name for him, but I didn't want to use hot rod. It's not a car. But this was also inspired by the Lasher design. Kind of like the radioactive Spider-Man and then this fiery Spider-Man. I wanted to kind of make five Spider-Man based on either hazardous materials or elements. And starting with the hazardous materials, we had radioactive, and then this guy. I like the origin of the guy burning down his own apartment, trying to kill a spider, but the spider got away and bit him anyway. 
and became this. This Spider-Man was commissioned by my buddy Steven's mom. And I will say, Steven, you have the best mom ever. Give her a big hug because she does care about you. But yes, they come every year for Steven's birthday. Um, once we made him a Captain Spider, then we made him a big time. And then we got this here. I wanted to really make something special for him and really try hard. And so I pulled out the airbrush now that I have one and gave him this really cool fade, knowing his favorite color is orange. So I hope he likes this. If you want to make this custom, all you really need is a lasher and a sunfire for those fiery hands, all those accessories. And I swapped out the feet with superior Spider-Man feet. But it is pretty much lasher entirely, so all you need is that figure. You could even use Lasher's feet if you wanted to. Believe it or not, this wasn't actually too hard to do. It did take some steps. But let me show you some work in progress pics. Oh man, I don't have any, but this is the earliest I do have when it's still all glossed out, pretty much all finished though. And then this is sealed finished. So I'm sorry, I didn't have any work in progress this time. But if you watch the Radioactive Spider-Man, the card is right there. It's the same exact process as that, just where the white is, this is black and where the orange and red and yellow is, the other one is green and white, so, well, green and yellow. Same exact process, though, more or less. Because this belongs to Steven, I think I want to recreate this, but not the same way, because his is going to be completely unique. I want to make a thermal Spider-Man, where this is more like flames. The other one's going to be thermal. I'm going to try that and see if I can pull that off, because I like the kind of hint of green that's behind the yellow. I did not intend on having these sunfire effects at first, it was just something I thought of afterwards that came in pretty handy, so I'm glad I actually thought of that last minute. But if I didn't mention that was from Sunfire, then yes, those are Sunfire's two flame effects. I think they work perfect here. The color is very similar, and I didn't even have to paint it. That's just the way it came. You guys are probably wondering about that extra head in the background. Well, that's nothing special. Just a superior Venom head. And usually I don't like the superior Venom head, but I like this one because it pops out the teeth really stand out in front of that orange it's the same design pattern as the body I wanted to have a head that kind of matched that body where the head that the original head just has the spider-man look with the sunset fade this has more of the flame work I mean why not use a superior head it's on the same body lashes on anyway so it's only right but it pops on the figure just like any other head would you see the green ball that indicates Lasher. Same thing with this head, Lasher head. In case you thought I was lying, and the superior is black inside, but it fits really easy. Let me make sure it fits. One thing I want to mention, I think my face is a little more, I don't know, brighter. It just looks more saturated than the chest does. I don't think it's too noticeable, but if you stare at it for a little while, you may notice the face is a little more heated. Wasn't sure what color to do the eyes, so I did leave them orange and just made the teeth uh, whitish yellow. The flame is mostly covering his face, but then falling away at the back of his head. See the peg hole where the tentacles were once glued in? Just took them off, sanded that down. You see the head has that green tint right after the yellow. I wanted that to match the body because I like that part the most about it. Even though it isn't really green at all, it's just a light shade of yellow going over the black. So it doesn't show up enough. I did paint inside the ab crunch, so you shouldn't have no worries there. I also wanted to paint on the butterfly joints, but I didn't. And these hands, I wanted to give them the fadeaway effect as well, but I thought that Steven would probably be covering them with the fire effects most of the time. So You already know, head does go up and down, left, right arm does go up at the shoulder it does swivel as well bicep swivel does work uh, butterfly joint works as well you get double jointed elbows you get a wrist swivel and a hinge and these are bullseye hands if I didn't mention that uh, you do get the ab crunch does function pretty well shouldn't have any issues on paint the waist swivel is painted inside there as well remember this is last year uh, you get that much split, not too much of a great split. Double jointed knees, you get a thigh swivel. You get ankles that hinge up and down. And also swivel side to side for some pivot motion. Yeah, yeah. 
feet look pretty cool, kind of look like toes. Fiery toes, athlete's feet. If you want to see Spider-Man next to another custom, let me show you really quick. And Ooh. this is, what's going on, man? I'm the boogie, man. Yo, what's happening? No. Yo. It's not what's me, going Billy. On? What, what do you mean it's not Billy? Ooh, You're right you there standing in front of me. Nine, seven, You're going to break the lights. I come get you. Stop. Okay, okay. Well, here it is, Radioactive Spider-Man with Blank Spider-Man. Uh, again, I wanted to make hazardous materials, and I wanted to make Mercury being another one with silver splashed on them and stuff. I need a really cool silver. I might go with Vallejo paint or Tamaya. I don't know. I forgot which one has the, the brighter silver, but Model Masters doesn't have a cool silver. But I like the way these do look together. You see the concept is pretty much the same, again, based off Lasher. So it was inspired by that figure. You could even add Lasher to this group. I still don't know what to call this guy. And that's why I need your help. So if you have any ideas, put it down in the comment section below. And let me know what you think we should call him. If you like one of the names that were thrown out from Facebook, put that in the comment. But I'm really in between Orb Weaver and Hot Rod Spider-Man or something like that. Or... Well, I don't know. You guys let me know. Again, whoever has the most likes on their comment, I'll send you something free. Probably an action figure. Not a custom. Just a, a Marvel Legends. And uh, we'll pick that name. But we got 24 hours. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more Spider-Man customs and you like this Spider-Man customs, then hit that subscribe button. Or don't. But if you choose to subscribe, you the man Yes, you, everyone below in the comments Yes, you too, thank you very much For showing me love, who knew It's ironic how we think out the box For you too, right? Mm -hmm.